what's up guys welcome back to hmht my name is ben your host of course and today when it comes to ios 15 betas i'll be happy to let you know that apple has released ios 15 developer beta 8 and also allow me to welcome you to a day before the best month for apple users we all know how uh september tends to be a month full of updates and also full of releases from apple so september for apple users tends to be good and it's a few hours before we reach that month now talking about ios 15 beta 8 you can see for me on my device that the update came in at exactly 476.6 megabytes and i was updating from ios 15 beta 7 obviously this is not all that apple released today so if we go to the apple developer website you'll be able to see some other updates that came out today so if we go to operating systems when it comes to mac os monterey beta 6 i'll be happy to let you know that the public beta of beta 6 came out today so the developer was yesterday and the public beta came out today so you can always download it and i already did a video on it if you want to see what's new when it comes to ios 15 and ipad os 15 you can see that today we got the developer versions of beta 8 for these two software updates and also tvOS 15 beta 8 developer version came out today as well as the developer version of watchOS 8 beta 8 the public the public beta versions of these updates is expected tomorrow since apple is getting more comfortable and these updates are getting more stable day by day now let's go ahead and see the software changes that came with this update if we go to the about this uh, iphone section you can see the new build number that we have that it's 19a5 340a and if you recall correctly on beta 7 we also had an a so this is the second a back-to-back -back build that we have with ios 15 which means that in terms of stability we are getting closer to the final release if we go to the modern firmware version you can see the modern firmware version it's 5.00.00 and coming from ios 15 beta 7 there's no change until up to the point where we are on beta 8 so modern firmware version remained more or less the same now when it comes to new features and changes for ios 15 beta 8 and ipad os 15 beta 8 i would like to say that if you look at the release notes apple didn't mention anything new or anything that has been specifically resolved so it's more of like you know trying to finalize this update and fix most of the bugs and issues that are there before the release candidate and the official version comes out but there are some updates that came out today and the first one that i would like to highlight or change that came with this uh, alongside this update rather is a new firmware update that came out for the air tags so if you use uh the air tags and you want to see or update to the latest firmware version all you have to do is open the find my app and then go to items and you'll be able to see the modern firmware version that you are on you can see that i've already updated to the latest firmware version which is 1.0.291 the old one that we are updating from was actually 1.0.271 so the way you update is very simple just make sure your air tag is very close to your iphone and pad and just leave them there and after about 15 minutes you should be able to see the latest firmware version updated for your air tags when it comes to twitter i'll be happy to let you know that so far as far as uh, i've been or for as long as i've been on ios 15 beta 8 my twitter app hasn't crashed which is sort of surprising because before i was having it crashed like two or three times per day so and even after updating on ios 15 beta 7 it did crash but here it has not crashed which is something that's good and also i would like to say that safari feels a little bit more stable if you have like different safari tabs you can access them better unlike before where sometimes tabs wouldn't show up or they would constantly load which was like an issue that was there on the previous beta 6 and 7 so that has been fixed and then also when it comes to iCloud so if you go to settings and go to uh, your iCloud and you have a custom domain for your email site then those are now showing up for iCloud but however when it comes to iCloud relay that is still showing that it's in beta so 
it's not yet finalized it's still in beta but for custom domain icloud uh, that is now showing also there is no mention of like universal control for the ipad uh as far as ipad os 15 beta 8 is concerned so perhaps it might not be released when the ipad os 15 comes out it could be released later on as a supplementary update now there have also been some uh, splash screens that i've noticed with this update and the first one has to do with the apple tv app so when you open up your apple tv app for the first time you see what's new in apple tv and also another uh application that received a new splash screen is youtube so you can see the new splash screen that you see that you can browse by content complete assignments and so on so that is what has changed with that application and then also i believe uh, pages has a new splash screen it could be from like a previous update but i didn't perhaps see it then but it's just showing up for me now so that's something that i thought about sharing and basically those are the new features and new changes that came with ios 15 beta 8 there's about 28 bugs that i counted and saw with this release notes and you know some of them have to do with guided access not working and also others have to do with this uh, the widget screen here when you try to search and cancel sometimes that might stay there and not disappear others have to do with storage where the device will show that it's using more storage than it actually is and also in maps sometimes you might see like rounded buildings and so on so there's still a number of issues and bugs but nothing major that's going to crash or break your device now those are the bugs that are still here the major ones and most common ones so let's talk about when this update could be released we know that last year when it comes to ios 14 it was released i believe on september 16th so you can see that we have about two weeks and a half before we reach that date and with the rumored apple event sometime between the 13th or 14th of september this year we could possibly see ios 15 sometime between the 13th to the 16th uh, it's going to be centered around the apple event like what apple usually does now other than that these are all the changes and new features that came with ios 15 beta 8 if you like this video drop a like i've done a video on watch os 8 beta 8 already feel free to check that on the channel and other than that stay safe and i'll definitely see you in the next video very soon peace